I'm currently working as an investigative journalist uh, focusing on corruption and human rights. Journalists are put in a situation whereby for them to survive, to be able to feed their families, they have to tell the line. So corruption has become the most effective tool. If we do not tackle corruption in Angola in a very strong and vocal manner, then we will not be able to talk about uh, freedom of expression, uh, free press, and quite often also international organizations, when they measure freedom of expression and uh, free press, they measure by the number of abuses by governments against journalists. In the case of Angola, you will hardly, it's not common for a journalist to be beaten up or to be arrested. Because that space that would enable the journalist some freedom to commit that crime of freedom of expression is no longer there, except the internet. At times when we feel um, in despair that uh, what we're doing, because this is the kind of work that you have to jeopardize the security and the well-being of your own family, then you start uh, having second thoughts. And when, when you're nominated for an award uh, such as this one, then there is a sense of greater responsibility because in the end, uh, there is just that thought that if we really have democracy, if we have freedom of expression, things can be better, not just for a few individuals or for, for my family, but for everyone in this country. And that's what I really think and gives me the strength to continue